Hello guys. Today we are going to implement this kind of analog clock using Swift UI. Let's start our implementation of analog clock using Swift UI paths. Let's create a new Swift UI project. Now we are creating a new analog clock view file. Hiding the navigator and inspector to get better focus on our content. For configuring the color of the analog clock, I'm creating a binding property named foreground color of type color. And for preview we are giving a constant binding value of red color. Let's wait for the preview to load. Let's increase the zoom of the preview little bit, to get better visual. Now we will use geometry reader, inside the body to get the size of the view. Let's find the radius by dividing width by 2. Create a border width variable of type CG float to set the border width. Let's find the inner radius by subtracting the border width from the radius. Now add circle shape and set the foreground color as white. This circle is used as clock dial. And now we create a another circle shape for the border of the clock. And setting the foreground color to the outer circle's foreground color. Set the aspect ratio of this geometry reader as 1 to 1, because the analog clock need to be in square. Add padding for now and we can remove this later. Let's add the comments.
Now we are going to the main part, we are going to create a second hand using the path. Use for from the range of 0 to 60 to draw the ticks in the clock. Let's find the radian from the angle of the ticks. By the way the one ticks is placed in 6 degree. So, we will multiply the index with 6 and convert it to radian using he angle struct. Let's draw the tick by calculating two points x1, y1 and x2 and y2. Calculate the x1 by multiplying, the inner radius with cos of radian we find. And we need to add that with the center x to find x points. Please let me know in comments, if you need a detailed video, of why we are using cousin sign. Let use the same logic for finding the x2 and y2.
create a line height variable to specify the height of the tick. We have extra height for the tick that is multiple of 5. Now move to the path to x1 and y1 and add the line to x2 and y2. Now set the foreground color and the stroke for that. Replace 5 with 6. Usually all ticks are located a multiple of 6. We are having only 60 seconds and minutes. So, for 1 minute or second it is 360 by 60 is the angle. Let's create a circle at the center with 10 pixel width and 10 pixel height. Let's create a state variable for getting current time. Now create a timer for every one minute and update the current time.
on receive of the timer event. We will update the current time. Find the hour, minute and seconds from the current time using calendar date components. Now we are going to draw the seconds hand, as like we used in clock ticks. Move the path to the center and add line to the X and Y. We find X and Y is same as we used in the clock tick. Find the radian of the second using the angle class. Now you can able to see the seconds hand moving. Need to do some modification in second hand.
copy paste and as that for minute hand and just need to replace second with minute for calculating the radian adjust the stoke little bit to see the difference between the hand Copy paste and that for our hand. And just need to replace my ute with our for calculating the radian. And need to replace the angle from 6 degree to 30 degree. Adjust the stoke little bit to see the difference between the hand. Now you can see time is showing wrong. That is because we need to rotate all by 90 degree and anti-clockwise. Now you can see time is showing correct. Create a callbacks to call when the time is changed. Now go to content view and start using the analog clock view. Create a state variable for setting the theme color.
configuring analog clock is done. Just need to some fancy work. Create a toggle to change the theme colors randomly. Whenever the callback is called, we will check and change the theme color.
Thanks for watching this video.